Hello everyone, it's Gabriel here and for today's video I decided to record something really different. After my Disney College program graduation, a lot of people ask me a lot of things about my English like how did I learn English, how Disney hired me and also how good your English has to be in order to be selected for the program. So I thought that could be a great idea if I record a video like only in English telling you guys about my story, my particular story with English. But first, if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to put me like a thumbs up here and please comment down below something in English. Anything but in English, please. I also got to say that English is not my first language, like English is not my native language. I'm a, a Portuguese speaker, so if I commit any mistake here, please forgive me, okay? Because I'm a human and English is not my first language, so take it easy. So I'm going to start my story talking to you a little bit about my high school. I really believe like the large majority of the people that are watching this video probably had lots of English classes during school. I had lots of English classes when I was in high school, when I was like in a regular school, and I'm completely forever like thankful for everything, for all the subjects and for everything that I learned uh, with my teachers, my teachers that I had when I was in school. I really remember that I passed year after year learning about the same thing, like the to be verb. And I know like that to be verb is really necessary, is really important, but I know there is not enough. All the structures we use like nowadays to speak English, we have to use the to be verb. But if you're watching this video and you think that only have only by having to be verb you are fluent you're wrong because there's a lot of things to study the to be verb is only the beginning i also believe that when we are talking about learning process like any process but a learning process we're talking about something really specific like really particular a lot of people they have a lot of uh, methods own methods to learn about things and I also have my own methods and I'm going to explain you guys how I learn it and which things I use it to learn and like to improve my English to improve the way I speak when I was 13 I guess uh, my parents uh, they put me in an English course I know that English course like in general aren't cheap those are very expensive even it was really really expensive my parents strongly believe in the idea like the English is something really necessary and it's gonna be really important to shape your future and like to shape my future, to shape someone's future. So I started the classes with lots of weakness like because the things were going very fast, the teacher was passing for a lot of different topics, different subjects and I was like confused. Well, a year has passed and I, I felt like that I wasn't learning the things that I wanted to, like my classmates, they were talking a lot of things, they were speaking very fast, very good English, and I was stuck it in Portuguese. I remember I had about 15 classmates and it's something that I don't approve because I, I strongly believe in the idea that if you are in a small class, your teacher will have a great, a better development, a better dedication to you, like a particular attention that you really need to learn English or learning whatever, anything. Didn't that make sense for you? I felt my parents, they were spending a lot of money with something that was not too worth to me. And I was spending a lot of time because you spend a lot of time studying, like, going to the classes, doing homework. So the things were going too bad and I felt very sad. I felt like I got very frustrated and I forced my parents to cancel the, the course because they were spending a lot of money with something that was not too worth like. My grades were very, very basic, but not the way I was expecting. And I talked to them and we decided to cancel the course. So I grew up and I felt like the necessity of learning English because I really felt that I was prepared for that. And I decided that I would learn English all by myself. Like I would put all my efforts on action and I would do 
anything possible, everything possible in order to learn English. In the beginning, I remember I watched a lot of series, a lot of Disney movies. Like, I remember I watched Hannah Montana, I watched Friends. Those things that I watched in Portuguese when I was a teenager or even a kid. I had the idea, like, in my mind that I would remember everything because like those things I, I have watched before, so probably I would remember the things. And it was exactly what happened. Yeah, it was completely life-changing for me. I know that this was really the different and something that was really useful to improve my English, improve my, my listening especially, because when I was watching those things again, I was training my listening. I was watching the same thing, but in another language, so I was watching the same movie, the same series, but now in English. In 2016, I figured out about a program called Disney College Program, and I decided that the program would be like my main goal for leave. I saw in this program a great opportunity to go to Disney, not only to spend my vacations, but also to work, because that is the purpose of the program. But one of the main requirements for the program is to know how to speak English. At that time I felt that I could understand the things, but I couldn't reply, I couldn't speak because I was stuck it. I found a lot of people with the same problem, I don't know if it's exactly a problem, but like with the same weakness, and we decided to do Skype calls, like FaceTime calls or whatever, video calls. So we did it every single night in order to practice English. So we train it about the questions they ask us in the interviews and we talk a lot about routine, about a lot of different topics, but only in English. That was the rule, like only in English. In the beginning, I remember I had lots of mistakes, like simple mistakes. And the other member of the groups, they used to correct me, like, and if someone tries to correct you, please accept because it's something that is for your own benefit. So, so don't get sad, don't get like uh, angry if someone tries to correct you because it's really important, it's really necessary. I did the first Disney interview, like all in English and I rock it, it was amazing. I received my approval for the first interview and then I did the second one and it was terrible. I know that's why I, I got standby during two months. So it was really, really sad for me because I stayed waiting for a long time and all my friends were approved. But even with the standby list, I received my congratulations and I cried a lot and it was amazing. I had the brilliant opportunity to work for Disney, uh, not only one time, but two times and life is a surprise, life is a mystery box, so who knows about the future, right? And I am so grateful for my roommates, for the home roommates I had in my college program because I learned a lot of things with them because I didn't have another choice, so I had to speak English every day, 24 hours per day because it was like me, another Brazilian and six American people, so I didn't have choice. I had to force myself to sp speak to them like in English every day. I know that like living abroad, having experience to do a cultural exchange is something really important and is, li is really life changing for like everyone. But I recognize that it's not something, it's not an obligation. Like if you don't have a cultural exchange, you won't be fluent in English. This is a lie, this is not true. My second experience was way better because I was working as a kind of tour guide. So I had lots of responsibilities that I didn't have in my first experience. And I was basically doing the connection like uh, from Disney to the groups. Yeah, that's what I did during the three months, like during my summer. So I think that I'm not the best person to give motivational tips, but don't give up. Like you have to be persistent. You have to chase your dreams and your goals. Keep learning new things because those things are very important as well. And that's it. This was the video. I probably, I have like, 30 minutes to put subtitles and I'm really lazy. I know that's gonna be very exhaustive like putting 30 minutes of English subtitles, but that's it. If you like this video, please don't forget to put me a thumbs up here. And if you wanna know something about English, about me, about, I don't know, anything, please uh, don't forget to comment down below. And yeah, keep studying, keep practicing, and I know that your English is gonna be very awesome, okay?
that's it. See you in the next video and bye bye. I don't know how to finish a video in English. I'm so sorry.